Hello, my name is Kavi. I am a student. This is my story of learning English language. I started learning English at the age of 22 of course, the age doesn't matter when you really want to learn something. I always support lifetime learning experiences. However, it is a fact that children learn languages much faster than adults. Because their grasping power is more at that age and if we talk about adults, their memory gets scattered. Anyways, my schooling was not really good as I was weak in my English subject so I barely got passing marks. Meanwhile I started hating this language because my parents always scolded me for getting so much lower marks in it. While my all friends were really good in it even they are. I vividly remember when I was in my fifth standard, I barely got passing marks in my final examinations. But my friends got first rank in it, and I was feeling ashamed because of getting lower marks. After completing my studies, my parents decided to send me abroad but I was not in this favor. But I had to do this for my parents. And I got enrolled in institute where English language was taught. At that time I had to crack English test that was IELTS which is International English Test which is basically conducted to check your English level like where you stand in this language. There are mainly four modules in this test namely reading, writing, listening and speaking. These all are important parts of it. Generally, there are other many tests conducted presently like TOEFL, Duolingo, private and many more, but I chose IELTS. Because I wanted to study in New York University where it is mandatory to get 8 score in this test. That was really hard nut to crack for me as I was not good in it. I was first supposed to complete 6 month long English study and got 6 band scores that was not really enough for me to get admission in that university. After my lot of hard work and efforts, I achieved my desired score that would make me unable to get admission in this university and icing on the cake was that I was eligible for scholarship that could reduce my expenses up to the half. As we know United States is costly for beginners because we have to take care of everything like our grocery, clothing, renting everything that a person needs to make home. It was really challenging task to get 8 band scores in 6 months for someone who started learning English from scratch. However the 6 month long program was very intensive and included some TOEFL targeted lessons too. In order to start the program, I moved to a different city and I rented a house with a friend who was also joining the same program. We did not have any distractions such as televisions or computers or smartphones, anyways there was no smartphones back then. I am talking about 1995 and apparently we were kind of lucky to get fewer distractions. We had classes every weekday from 8.30 to 16.30 with a lunch break only. We had different teachers for reading, writing, listening and grammar. But I found reading more difficult rather than other three parts. But why I don't know maybe because of my schooling or there could be something else maybe because of my interest in reading. Whatever but I did that. The lack of speaking lessons would cause me some troubles later in the USA. But I will come back to that in a while. Every day after the classes were over we would directly go back home and have something for dinner and start doing daily homework and repeat works. This study would go on until we become sleepy and usually we would finish it by midnight. I remember this ritual would go on and on for six months. The only distraction we had was the weekend movie break where we used to go to a movie theater to watch a Hollywood movie to improve our listening. 
Both my friend and I was obsessed with learning English and making it to eight band scores and go to the USA. There was absolutely nothing else in our lives. At the end of the program I took the IELTS and was the only person to get eight score from the beginner's class. After a few weeks I was ready to go to the USA. My destination in the States were in New York. I remember landing in the airport close to midnight. There was no one to pick me up, not even a hotel was arranged. So I was alone with the eight band score to make my way through. Well it was not that easy, the score did not help me at all. I remember asking very simply and probably wrongly to some people how to go to a hotel, and in return I would understand nothing. But somehow I got one word from one person's talk, corner, and with the help of his hand gestures I was able to go to a corner where there were some direct free phones to call specific hotels. So I picked up one of the phones, it was written La Quinta Hotel on the phone. Someone said something, probably, La Quinta Hotel, how may I help you? But did not understand anything. I was trying to explain my situation with my broken English although I hated to look stupid speaking a terrible English. But I had to do it otherwise I would end up staying overnight in the airport not knowing what to do in the morning. Eventually I managed to understand that there were direct hotel shuttle buses from the airport but it was already too late. The guy on the phone was very nice and probably felt sorry for me and instructed to me with a slow and very clear English to go outside to the bus station and wait there for La Quinta Hotel shuttle bus. Apparently he would send the bus just for me. I was not sure if I understood him correctly but I had no choice but to go outside and wait. After about 20 minutes I saw a minibus with big La Quinta hotel marks. It was that moment that I felt success in learning English because somehow I was able to communicate. IELTS score did not mean much in terms of communication. What matters the most is the communication with people, which tells me that listening and speaking should play a major role in learning a language. It took me about three to four months to comfortably explain myself and understand people's responses on daily and not complex conversations. I am a learner of the English language ever since, it never ends, today I am able to understand and speak fairly complex subjects but there are occasions where I feel like my English is not enough to capture the essence of the topic. Then I read more and study more to get one more red flag out of the way. All the best to you in your journey of mastering a language.